What is up, guys? Welcome to the Big Unbox, where we do that small tech. And today, I am back with another, say it with me, guys, big unboxing for you for the iPhone 10. And today, we're back with the Tech 21 Evo Elite case to unbox, do a quick review. As always, I'll put up the link in the video description. If you guys want to check it out, feel free to do so. So this one is, I believe, an Apple exclusive, so you can get it in their stores or through their website. I'm not even sure if this one's available at Tech21's website. You want to check that out. Maybe you can check it out and see if it's available there. But it does say Apple, only a Apple on the website itself. This comes in four different colors. You got black, a rose gold, looks like a just a like regular gold color, and then silver. I went with the silver since I had the iPhone 10 that's got that silver color as well, and Presentation wise, you can say it looks pretty premium for the price point. Now the pricing is definitely going to be high, $49.95. That's a very expensive case. So we'll see if it's worth the price of admission for you guys before you spent your hard-earned money on this. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section if it's a hit or miss. You guys ultimately decide on that. So presentation wise, premium packaging, Tech 21, protection made intelligent, Evo Elite, and then it tells you about the drop protection, 6.6 .6 feet drop protection, impact protection on the side. Evo Elite gives you some more details about the actual case itself. And then you got your flex shock and then impactology. That's their actual kind of logo. They're, that's their thing, their motto about what the actual case is, impactology. So presentation, definitely get an A for presentation. We'll see if it's worth the price of admission though once we get the case out. So, got this try it tab. That's a nice little added touch. See, if you're in the store, an Apple store, or even Best Buy who has Tech 21 stuff, and you just want to pop it on your phone to check it out and see if it's worth, if it's what you guys are looking for, very nice. You can just pop it out like this. Probably do a little try it before you buy it. So, that's a nice that little touch. So, you don't have to waste your hard earned money right off the bat if you're not into this case. That's always the worst when you drop your hard-earned cash on a case that's, that's trash, basically. So hopefully we're helping you guys out on that aspect. So presentation-wise, again, nice job to them. The case itself, it's got that clear back to it. It does have a matte clear finish. So that's going to help you guys out with fingerprints. It's not going to get as fingerprinty. Or it's not going to show dust particles. If you got a clear, if you guys have ever had a clear back to your phone or for your case, you know that you always have to kind of wipe it on every couple of days, wipe the phone off. Just wipe the inside of the case out because it gets just little dust particles. Now with that material and then with the kind of the matte look to it, you can see it's going to be clear, but it's not going to be crystal clear. So you're not going to have to see all those little fine, you know, those little hairs, just whatever gets in there. So you should have less problems with that at least. So nice job there. Tech 21, got the little logo, camera cutout. So this is kind of like a hard, hard plastic. And then from there, you got kind of a rubber bumper around the edges. The bumper itself is rubber, but it's actually made in a kind of a soft material, different versus the hardback. Got a gray, basically rubber shell to the sides of it, to the bumper. Flex shock, kind of give you some idea. That's how, hopefully, you're hoping that's going to get the impact. You can see those ridges. Hopefully, that's going to give you the impact if you drop your phone. It's going to hit there first. I think that's their idea to impactology right there. And again, this is kind of like a soft rubber on the sides. It does have some nice grip to it. This is very like typical rubber. And then this has some nice grip to the sides as well. So let's pop it in and see what it looks like. See if it's worth 50 bucks, which is tough, tough pill to swallow. That's a lot of money to spend on a case. But then you guys are spending a lot of money on this phone. So I understand that as well. So let's check it out and see if it's see if it's a hit definitely like the way the, bl the black or the glass back looks on the back of it you got the glass popping through and it's got a muted look to it and it shows off the back but it doesn't overly show it off in my opinion so you're going to get the best of both worlds where you can see the beautiful back of the phone you can see the iphone logo tech 21 just a little bit of minimal at the bottom but everything looks really nice and muted and it actually looks kind of classy in my opinion. Camera cutout looks nice, very precise. So it's got a nice precise camera cutout. It's not gonna provide you a lot of crazy drop protection for your camera, but it's definitely gonna, not gonna be flush. You can see it's 
raised up even more on the edges because the bumper is raised a little bit. So you're hopefully gonna, if you drop it, not have any issues at all with the camera. Again, feels grippy, feels very nice. Check out that lip protection. So you can see a decent amount of lip protection all the way around the edges. So what you're hoping is if you drop it, it's gonna hit that lip, all these corners first, before it hits your screen protector or even screen. So you're hoping that that's gonna take the brunt of the damage. And it does appear to have some nice lip protection. So nice job there. Alert slider, pretty easy to get to, depending how big your fingers are. That's not too big an issue though. So pretty clicky or pretty easy to get to, no problems at all. One thing I was a big fan about on the Tech 21 case like this before I had was the volume up and down. The buttons were very clicky and responsive. Same thing with this one. It just feels really nice. It's got a nice click to it, so I appreciate that. I really like something that has a nice click to it. Let's check out the ports. Speaker grills are exposed, but very precise cutouts. You can see that kind of ends right there, the, the precise cutouts all the way around. So you're kind of getting a little bit exposed at the bottom, but it shouldn't have any, yeah, you're good to go. See, there's just a little bit exposed, but you should have any problems, shouldn't have any problems at all if you drop it. So nice job there. And then everything's just very precise, looks very clean. Power button, or I guess with the old school power button, clicky, responsive, feels good. And then you got that, again, you got that bumper around the edges, it's got that silver color. I think it looks nice too. It gives you kind of that two-tone look, but you got that silver and then it matches the silver Apple logo and then the iPhone as well. So I'd say this one, I can't say it's a full hit because of the price point. There's probably bet, something better out there for less money. But if you're looking for, you know, the best of the best and you don't mind dropping 50 bucks for a case, this would definitely be a way to go because I feel like you're getting some really good draw protection and it adds a little something to the phone. I think it adds a little class to it. Plus, you're still showing up that, you know, that beautiful glass back. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Hit or miss. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time on the Big Unbox.